Hey, what's up? Uh, here with another routing guide, we'll say, um, where we're going to be playing through another seed, and I'll be explaining my thinking uh, so that hopefully if you're learning to race, uh, kind of get someone's perspective who's been doing this for a little while. Uh, so we won't be talking about our room strats and like specific trick details, but uh, more of like how the progression flows and where I'm thinking about going next. Um, this is the third one that I'm making. Uh, so probably gonna pause and make these all public at once and get feedback. So if you've got any comments and stuff you wanna see more, like if I'm missing explanations of some key thing, uh, leave them down below. Uh, as well as if you just got any comments on like the past ones about the routing, leave comments below and I can try to explain my thinking as best I can. <laughs> I know it'll be in the past, so I might not remember fully, but hopefully it's enough. So anyways, without further ado, let's get started. I'll actually start the timer at the correct time <laughs> this time. Uh, so, <clears throat> so again, our uh, standard weekly setting, so we'll be starting at landing site. Beginner tricks. Again, won't be following logic. Like, we might go out of logic a little bit when it's race viable. Um, we won't be doing anything crazy. We want to make sure we're going fast the entire time. I did one earlier today, so hopefully I'm warmed up. But I'm obviously not, since I've fallen and can't get up. Oh my god. So, this happens. Keep your cool. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this happens. Keep your cool. There we go. Space jump first. Having to perform a trick right off the bat. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a missile here in Alcove. One of our two starting locations uh, that are open to us. So it's just an expansion, which means that this isn't our logical missiles yet. That's also um, an expansion. Uh, we want to scan that lower one in case it is logical missiles, because that kind of tells us that um, morph has to come before missiles. Uh, but with that, we are still going to go out of logic here, technically, and go check our artifacts. Like I've said in previous episodes, I've got two schools of thought when it comes to artifacts. There's um, reading them right away and reading them later. Uh, when you... I find when... Oh, there's a missile down there, so I can't grab a good scan off that. Um, when you get to Artifact Temple first, like we are here, I like reading these right away just so that I know if Transport Tunnel B or Ruined Shrine is a... An artifact and that way we can kind of route those in later instead of wasting our time at the beginning because likely we're gonna be passing by them anyways so I forgot to grab the lock on here so we're just gonna do some L jumps up and I've got my piece of paper here so we've got PPC and PCA oh lovely C, PCA, Research Core, and Ice Runes East. East. We've got Shorelines and Water Hell Axis. I've played so many recently that uh, I could actually mark <laughs> which set of artifacts I'm supposed to be looking at on my sheet. Uh, so since Transport Tunnel B isn't um, on our list, I'm inclined to go do that now. Uh, even though we know that the missiles aren't in logic, if they come into logic or come up soon, uh, we don't want to have to backtrack for this item if it's, say, if we get missiles and then it ends up being morphed down here. So we will just take some time and go do this now. 
<laughs> it seems I'm struggling a little bit today with my platforming. <laughs> Actually, not today. We did uh, we did pretty well earlier. We had uh, just about almost a sub hour seed, so that's that's nice. So let's hope we can uh, reclaim a little bit of this speed going forwards. Okay, there's space jump. Fantastic. So yeah, if we had waited for like logical missile launcher, we could have left space jump for some time. So we've got it now. It's excellent. Uh, we aren't going to do arbor chamber yet. And we enter Chozo. So, uh, with Space Jump, uh, we've got a couple options. Um, we got everything in Main Plaza, and then we can also take a look at most of Ruin Shrine, um, which is probably what I'm going to do. That's an E-Tank up there. We're actually going to grab that right away and check what's in here. That's nothing. Uh, the reason I want this E-Tank is because Scarab's hurt, and this way we just don't have to be as cautious. Uh, that is Super Missiles in uh, the Half Pipe. And uh, we're just going to take this Grapple Beam. If it ends up being useful, then we've got it. And that's bombs. Okay, so that's a big find. Um, knowing where that is is good. And hopefully we can find our morph wall soon. Okay, that's interesting. That is... Grapple and X-Ray. Uh, so that's most of Root Cave, but remember we don't have um, our main missiles yet. So a lot of this stuff is out of logic right now. So continuing forward, we're going to uh, want to check just about everything. Uh, we're not... Actually, we're going to check this now. That's a missile. If I know I'm going to come back this way, I don't check it, but uh, since we don't have morph yet, um, I'm more inclined to wait. Uh, kill the bees before you enter this room. Kill the hive. Uh, shoot the plant. That is an E-tank in there. Probably won't be getting that, and that's okay. So if this is morph, no, I think this has to be uh, missiles up ahead, missile launcher. Oh my god, that is embarrassing, but that's alright, grand finals moment. <laughs> Sorry, Maha. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, that's even more annoying. Okay, I should have just committed to leaving. It's too late now. Uh, so you can just leave the room. Re leaving the room will reset the state, and then you can do the skip. Alright, some free time lost there. <laughs> it happens, just keep moving. So there's our launcher. 
There's our gravity suit. Okay. So that means that Morph is likely in um, Root Cave. So we will be taking a trip back there. So a save warp, and we can grab Root Cave, and we may also try for Arbor Chamber as well. We don't have bombs uh, to get ourselves kind of unstuck, so we'll have to be cautious, but Danger's my middle name, so we'll be fine. Getting gravity suit is interesting. Uh, that could just be for a crash site. Um, watery hall. So there's our morph. Like I said, we're gonna be very cautious here to not get stuck. There we go. You just wanna land on like the very edge. And then we got morph. So you don't have to worry about getting stuck in the ceiling. But just a missile expansion. Oops, had some collision there. Uh, so since we've got morph, um, we definitely want to go get bombs now. Uh, but I also want to uh, go check frig a crash site. We can do that really quickly, so I don't think there's any harm in it. Just a missile. All right. So not worth our time, but good to check. So we've got two checks in Rune Shrine. We've got what we know is bombs, and then we've got uh, the other item. We'll also take a save here just because we're here good excuse to fill up and uh, dying is bad so taking a save every once in a while is uh, never a bad thing don't be scared to save too far forward on that dash so heading back into Chozo uh, we're gonna do rune shrine and then vault and then from there, we'll head into mid Chozo. Never remember where the scan point is for uh, getting through main plaza. Like I said, I'm not the fastest player. But uh, I make good decisions occasionally, so that is what this is about. Excuse me. Wave beam, okay. So we're heading back up. It 
if you get wave beam here, you definitely want to do Tower of Light now. So, so we shall. Um, I always like going for the upper item first because if you fall down, then at least you're down and can grab the other item. Tower of Progression, let's see. A nice E-Tank. Not so bad. And a Power Bomb, that is amazing. First Power Bomb is the most important one. Even though it's not a uh, logical use yet, um, just having the ability like knowing that you can use them and get some things out of logic helps a lot with routing. Um, there's a lot of checks in Magmore that we now don't have to double back for. Once we get to that point. Still need Varia though. Um... So when I was here, I'm realizing a routing mistake, uh, and those happen, as we've seen in uh, the other videos, if you've seen those. Um, when I got X-Ray, I should have checked what this was, because I would have known that it is a useless beam combo, and I wouldn't have had to come all the way from Rune Shrine to Vault to just check on this one item. So that is a mistake, and hopefully... Uh, you can learn from it, and I can learn from it, in future attempts. Every seed is an opportunity to learn, or whatever Captain MD says. A lesson. Something like that. You get the message, though. We go up here and check Check this first in case it's Spider Ball. It's not it's Plasma Beam, which is interesting. Um, don't know exactly what that's telling us right now. There's our first artifact. Um, if I was, if I hadn't done uh, Arbor Chamber, it could be bad to get this now because I would be thinking, man, I have everything to climb that room, to climb Root Cave, and now I have Plasma, and now I might be thinking about routing back there. But since we've already done that, we don't have to worry. That is a nothing, so we're going to take a look at this item first. And we're just going to grab it since we have. Usually you scan that one, but if you got gravity and space jump, just go for it. Um, we check that item just because, in case it's spider, we don't want to have to uh, go all the way back to dynamo, so. Nice instant unmorph. Gotta remember to do that. The cool tricks. All right. Nothing here. Realistically, the only thing that Plasma gets us at this point is we've got Fen once we get Varia, which could be for a while, and we've got Hall of the Elders, <laughs> realistically. Uh, but right now, we're just going to continue on towards the back half of Chozo. Um, since we've got Wave, we can get all the way to Antichamber. And since I got Plasma, I'm inclined to go that far. 
uh, to see what's underneath the statue. Just a kind of a weird place for Plasma to be hanging out. So it will always be on the side, uh, perpendicular to the door. On the break we go this, and it's Ice Beam. Okay, now we're definitely going to go check out um, Far Chozo. And even like Great Tree Chamber is available now with our um, X-ray visor. Having all beams already is kind of rough because we're going to start losing track of like where the game is open so much that the progression is going to be hard to follow. So yeah, realistically, we're just missing, like, boost spider Varia, of course. Because, yeah, we don't know where our Fen Shoreline's artifact is. If it's behind the ice, great. Could be locked by uh, spider, though. Uh, PCA, we have... Everything we need to get down there. PPC we can get as well. Ice Rings East could be behind Spider. So Sp Spider would definitely be nice to find it just as like a real safety. Do the lower first this time since we're going all the way through. Another power bomb expansion. Thank you, camera. Hold up left here, or more left, but it's not a. You don't just want to hold left. Don't hold L for this trick. Don't get limited influenced off the top as well. Just a missile. So we're gonna head to crossway and then on to haul the others. Oops, fell, but that is just a missile. Thankfully, we have uh, X-Ray and Supers here. Don't ask me why I turned it on while I was doing the platforming. Positioned. We'll do our sloped L jump up over the statue. And I will correct my posture. So other than doing uh, plasma last, doesn't really matter which order you do these in. Uh, plasma, you have to reset the room if you want to access any of the other slots. So that's why we that's why we do it last. Let's 
take a missile. And we will take an energy tank. All right. So we're kind of running out of places for Varia to be. Uh, the only other thing that could come up is like thermal. And then we could go through... Um, oh, there's a boost ball. Okay. Uh, if we found thermal, we could go all the way through um, Frigate. Uh, with boost, that's nice, because we can go to Life Grove. Um, I'm kind of <sighs> upset that we're leaving uh, Overgrown Cavern here. This could be a good spot. Honestly, if we're trying to be competitive, if we're trying to be competitive, I think we do bar skip here. I think we do. I don't like leaving Overgrown Cavern. But, uh... I think it's necessary. It's just a missile. Because what? P PCA and PPC, we can do those without boost, or without uh, spider. But we're gotta know that we're out of logic. And we don't have any. don't have any Magmore artifacts. Uh, workstation? WS. <laughs> what, what, what was that? What was I writing down? Let's just do a double check real quick. Should be the third one. That's uh, a PS. <laughs> well, I I even circled the, the hints, so I'd know. Yeah, so... We could make the gamble that um, Spider isn't going to be required. Which is a rough one, but those bombs were... Space well enough together. I gotta focus. It's actually been a while since I've done this. And uh, while we're here, uh, one thing that I and a few others like to do is check um, check hat. If you've got gravity, it's pretty quick. And I find it's one of these checks that, like, especially if you're going through frigate, like, be good to get. Oh my god! S speaking of struggling with bomb jumps, my god. Vanilla. 
So it's usually quick uh, if you don't fail those bomb jumps so many times. <laughs> so uh, that is a, a curse for me. I just stink at those. Okay. Um, we're still trying to find phase on suit as well. I kind of want wanted that. Eh, whatever. We'll get more. Hmm. Because <laughs> realistically, all that was left in logic is like overgrown cavern and we've got Overgrown Cavern and Flagra? That's really it. I almost never get that. So it feels good. Okay. Uh, we're not going to bother with that. Um. going to go the forwards direction because we don't have spider and while we're trying to do like race viable strats I'm also trying to not go too far out of what should be expected of someone starting so um, <laughs> no spiderless shafts I don't think those. Let's scan this real quick. thing about going this way too as we can peek this door just a missile Going through mines early as well um, can be nice because although we do have a hint uh, for phase on suit once we collect all of our artifacts, um, we want to kind of hope to run into phase on on the way. And phase on does like to be in mines, phase on mines, phase on suit. It's like the game knows. switch to power beam before you power bump this guy because then you can just start missile spam eh could be worse we still don't have logical power bombs so we will start to go out of logic uh, with these checks, but I should have killed these turrets. Actually, you know what? There's a strat here, which is just go back through this room, and then the turrets will be gone. I don't actually know how far you go through. turrets, no wave pirates. Pretty cool. I missed the jump. <sighs> I did it. 
again. I forget where Samus's feet are sometimes. That is a suit, okay. So, if that's Varia, that's interesting. If it's phase on, then nice. Hopefully we uh, don't need spider and we can just go finish the game. Okay, various suit. So, um, we must need, um, whoops. <laughs> we gotta have, um, thermal somewhere, um, because we have to go through frigate to get here. Uh, there's no other way, so that is a conclusion that we can make. So the only other way through mines is through Magmor. So this is some of that um, kind of progression uh, you can think about is like what locks what. We know that thermal has to be early because it's blocking Varia. Oh, wow, spider ball. Okay, cool, so that's uh, that's go mode. So now we just have to go as fast as we possibly can. Still plenty of game left uh, due to the location of our artifacts. But uh, as we go through here, we'll try to think about how we're gonna route these. PPC and PCA we have coming up. We've got doing too many seeds on one day and I'm forgetting what artifacts are. Research core, ice runes east, and shorelines. Okay, so they're all in Fendrana. Research core we can grab coming out of mines. Um, this is our, we'll pick up this E-tank. We will try to do the pirate skip here. It's usually slow if you can't get it too quickly. Which probably would have just been faster to fight it at this point. Yeah, especially when we hit the trigger anyways. So, unless you're really comfortable with that, probably don't do that. <laughs> but that's fine. Oh my god, that's annoying. Um, honestly, one of the things we might do here is blow this up now and reset this room. Um, I'm while I'm doing this, I don't think it's fast. Oh my god, get in! Hold. Probably not faster. <laughs> Definitely not faster. Um, but this will get the pirate, the shadow pirates on. And they don't shoot at you, so I'm just kind of <laughs> being a little bit of a, a baby here. So don't feel like that is necessary at all. Uh, the only thing I would stop for now at this point is Ice Spreader. We don't really have that many missiles to work with. We do have supers, so... That will help with final bosses, but uh, is what it is. Should be a free. Really, it's an ultra, but whatever. Yeah, I'm missing 
should have kept track of my count. Go to wave. And as we're going through here, make sure to bomb these. You get a free couple drops. And go through um, QA, everyone's favorite room. Uh, when you're on the track, they won't bug you. Which is kind of funny, so. Just kidding, unless you run into them. Okay, this is kind of risky. Gonna use a power bomb to hopefully get some return on investment. Okay, so we got a power bomb back, so that's good. Because we need one coming up. Too bad I didn't switch to plasma. Uh, having the correct beam open is uh, super important. You can lose like a second every time you're going through a door, so. Super important. Hmm. Realizing that we're not actually in go mode, we still need to phase on suit. <laughs> For some reason, I just was under the impression that we were, uh, just had to go fast. <laughs> so that uh that changes things a little bit. But uh we'll probably be rerouting for hints then if that's the case. Uh shame on me for using grapple beam. And there's realistically nothing that this can be that we'll want, yeah. Uh, try to get through this room as fast as possible. We've got X-Ray, so that is a beam combo. Of course it's Flamethrower. Um, honestly, uh, it would be really good to grab a refill here. We're running low, but I'm going to keep trucking and just do the any percent strats. Hopefully I remember them. Hoping for a few more drops there. Excuse me. Make sure that that's unfreezing. Come on, missile. Thank you. Gotta go to the side here. And that will make it so that OP doesn't get to lock onto us.
Alrighty. Let's do it. Ice pirates, nice. Two full plasma charges. Then we wait for the laugh. And we're good. <laughs> Nothing. Yippee. So we're still waiting on that phase on suit. All right. Brain farted there for a second. Need to go down here anyways. Because there's an artifact. Nothing. Okay. Climbing a bit. But we're good. Uh, okay. So we have Varia. Not that we need it on this side. <laughs> where, oh, where could face on suit be? Ah, it's just a missile. So at this point, we're likely getting, if we don't um, pick up phase on suit on the way, we're definitely getting the hint. So we got PPC, we got PCA, we need research core, ice runes east. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to save warp out of, out of Fendrana. Oops. Saved. It's uh, an apt location for Ice Breader. Kill. One signal plasma shot and then burn is enough. Nope. Hmm. 
this is a conundrum now. Um, we might actually go back through Magmore. We've got a few more checks on the way, so I don't want to fight Thardis, is the, the thing. Uh, so what I'm thinking is we go back through and we clean up some of the um, some of the Magmore checks. Considering how late Varia was, I don't hate it as a play for Phazon Suit. So we're going to uh, we're going to do that, and then we'll head up through Monitor Station and uh, take the save warp out from there. Because we've got uh, Storage Depot B's item, the hamburgers aren't here, so nothing cool to dash off of. You know, we need Ice Beam coming up. So imagine if we didn't do bar skip, we would have went back, had to do, had to find thermal probably, and then go through frigate. So just doing bar skip alone, like saved us a ton of time. Nothing. Probably saved us a ton of time. If uh, <laughs> if it comes back and it says that uh, phase on suits and frigate, then uh, <laughs> cool, I guess. <laughs> We don't need any more E, so won't go out of our way for it. Just a missile down there. We were looking for a power bomb there. Okay, main power bombs. So we were expected to get Varia and then um, power bombs. That's good. What else was blocked by power bombs? I mean, most of our artifacts and such. So with power bombs being behind Varia, I'm now starting to think of like what remaining. Um, power bomb checks we have in the game um, like a magma pool something that comes to mind
Uh, we'll take it while we're here. We already did all the work for it. Okay, so... Ice Ruins, East, and Fentro Lines. We can get both. Um, and then after that, we're going to take a uh, pivot save. Because if it says, if the hint says that it's in uh, Shoreline, or it's in Fendrana, we want to just be able to come right back here. Alright, well, it's in the lighthouse, so we're going to just quickly oops, get the other one, then dash over. Okay, very good. We are just going to check this upper item. go and I'm almost thinking about doing Chozo Ice Temple right now like those two checks are right there but I think we just gotta go fast and play for the hint so we're gonna take the save though cause yeah if it says that the Phase on suit is in Fendrana, then we come back here. The Ridley fight is fairly quick. Don't save <laughs> over our pivot save, uh, but do refill your ammo. I always bonk my head on that thing. Best places it could be are probably Chozo and Bagmore. Or Talon. Talon would also be good. So ideally, we don't want to do the Ridley fight again and take the pivot save back to Fendrana. And also, Fendrana is like the most open right now. We've barely got any checks left in Magmore, basically any other spot. So. Sixty for style. And a nice super missile to finish it off. Alright. Fendrana drifts. Okay, so that's why we took the save. The 
if it's in like Chozo Ice Temple or something like that, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> it's like it's right, right there. It's fine. Not a huge time loss. It's good to get this now. Like we've got the information. We can just go. We played the rest of the seed really well, so um, happy with uh, what we've done up till now. And I mean, like we're just at the hour mark, and we know where. Our, our go mode is generally so I always forget there's no cutscene on this for whatever reason. We'll take free missiles. So, yeah, if we would have taken a little bit of a gamble, honestly, for like the 30 seconds or so that it would have cost, to, probably not 30 seconds, but it would have cost a little bit of time, but it would have saved us quite a bit. So, kind of unfortunate. We got to re redo the Ridley fight again, but uh, hey, we got it. One hour go mode. Let's get the heck out of here. Be curious to note where that thermal was. And yeah, you gotta remember if uh, if people took thermal through frigate and didn't do bar skip, uh, you've got yourself a big advantage. So that's pretty cool. So you got to remember these little things that, uh, you know, you made good decisions elsewhere. Um, having a little misstep on uh, missing phase on suit here, not a big deal. Honestly, if you're finishing around the hour mark, then like, good for you. Good for me, at least. <laughs> I'm, I'm more than happy with that. Your go goals might be higher. And of course, it depends on the seed, but so far for these uh, these routing ones, um, we've been getting pretty pretty good luck. No uh, no stinkers yet. Although this was what this one was interesting, having uh, Varia locked so late. But uh, glad that I got to demonstrate the power of pivot saves. Because it uh, would have probably cost us like probably five minutes with like all the elevators and walking to actually get back there. So let's hope the uh, really fight goes just as well the first as the first time.
of the 360, as is tradition. Plane. And we're back. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Unfortunately, not a lot of missiles. Honestly, we might we might take the refill. We don't have a ton of missiles, and the fact that we have um, supers and ice spreader, I kind of want to kind of want to try it. An unironic use of the uh, the missile station here. I don't know what the fast <laughs> way to get here is, so. Uh, We'll just go about it. That was close. <laughs> Didn't know if that was going to make it. A little 10 second detour. Hopefully it saves us a couple rounds. Get some more ice spreader shots in. If we didn't have ice spreader, I probably wouldn't have went for it. Just because Ice Spreader's 15 missiles compared to Super's 5. And of course you start with Wave. Wave uh, being the slowest in terms of damage output. Wave first again, thank you. My exomnips are not the greatest. Take ice. Uh, where are you? Yeah, that was rough. Okay, uh, kind of a bad... Kind of a bad fight there. We get plasma. Yeah, that was a, that was a really... That was a rough call by me. Hopefully your fights go better. Again, we make mistakes, but we will keep moving. Run's not dead. why we need to stay close. Ah, this is where the fun begins. Oh, nice, plasma. Oh, damn it. Ah, double speed, yes. Get a super off. Ugh. Forge 
unfortunate. Having a kind of a bad fight here. Not my worst, only not my best. Doesn't help that Exo is not cooperating. Get a super on the run by at least. That's, that's the fight. Oh my god, really? Oh god. <laughs> what? <laughs> so yeah, faster player could probably be... Could probably be finishing up about now. So. Definitely room in, uh, for improvement on my part. But hopefully your final bosses are practiced. I guess the downside of not uh, finding thermal is that uh, we're down a, a visor again. Much prefer x-ray over a thermal though at least, so. That's a really bad location. It's an even worse location. Uh, when I don't have thermal, I like to try to get as much damage out of the pool as possible. Not great. Uh, we'll need to get through combat and then an X-ray phase, so. A couple more hits, probably a 115-ish finish. cancels. This is rather rough. I am, um, yeah. There's a bad pool location for me. I just have to finish off the damage and hope for the best. Nice. Whew, that was a scary one. Uh, whoops. And for some reason, my timer's. The high key's still not working. But 114. So yeah, the 115 finish. Just about. Very cool. So yeah, skipping thermal, uh, then heading into mines with um, with bar skip, which I do th is a definitely a race viable um, strat. You should know bar skip if you want to be competitive. It opens up so many routing options, as seen here, because um, we pretty much avoided like a five minute detour through frigate. Yep, all 
that checks out. Thermal was in Overgrown Cavern. So yeah, if we would have went to Overgrown Cavern, it would have pointed us, at least we would have been right there. Like instead of going um, to Life Grove area, we would have went down to Overgrown Cavern, got Thermal, and then taken that through Frigate. Which, yeah, is just slow. So glad we didn't have to do it. Mean spider ball location. <laughs> mean Varia suit location. That's interesting. I like I like the Varia in mines. That's an inter interesting one. Blocking off a lot of the game, but you don't see it too often on beginner settings, so kind of cool. Awesome. So again, if you have any more questions about like my thought process that I maybe didn't explain in the moment, it can be hard to like play and think and talk at the same time. My multitasking skills kind of fall apart. Um, feel free to ask below. Or if there's any like different format that this video should be in, let me know. Um, I want to improve these and I want to help people get into racing because racing is fun. This game is fun. You also don't have to be competitive. Maybe you just want to lower your time for your own personal um, goals, which is totally cool. Please do that. Um, you can reach out to me on Discord and to the um, NPR servers and stuff as well if you uh, got any specific questions. I'm always around there. Uh, but with that, we will see you next mission. Thanks.